five people with extraordinary abilities. Superheroes are epic, and many of us could only dream of having superpowers to make our lives easier. But life is stranger than fiction, and some people actually have unique abilities much like superheroes. These are five people with extraordinary abilities. Number five, Joy Milne, Super Sense. Dr. Tilo Kunith, a young Parkinson's UK senior research fellow, was giving out a talk presenting his research about Parkinson's disease. After the presentation, one attendee stood up and asked him a very unusual question. Why do people with Parkinson's smell different? Unsure if he heard the question correctly, he assumed the attendee was asking why Parkinson's sufferers lose their sense of smell over time, but the lady politely corrected him and said she was asking specifically about body odor. This person asking was former nurse Joy Milne from Perth, Edinburgh, Scotland. It was in the 1980s when she began observing an unusual smell coming from her husband, Les Milne. She described it as a sort of woody, musky odor, and she tactfully urged her husband to shower or clean his teeth. But this wasn't the problem. At the age of 45 in 1996, Les Milne was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's. Since then, Joy has helped her husband cope with the disease and found herself attending Dr. Kunitz's presentation. Curious about Joy's question, Dr. Kunith pried more and discovered Joy's circumstance. He decided to look into it further and asked Joy to participate in the test. He asked six people with Parkinson's and six people without it to wear a shirt for 24 hours. Each shirt was cut into two, then placed in a sealed bag. Afterward, Joy was brought in to smell and identify the patients she believed had Parkinson's. She correctly guessed that 11 out of the 12 belonged to the six patients with Parkinson's. She also got five out of six for the control group with only one mistake. However, Joy insisted the control subject she got wrong actually had Parkinson's, even though the tests showed she didn't have the disease. Sure enough, to the doctor's surprise, eight months after the experiment, the same control subject informed the scientist she had recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's. The experiment served as an eye-opener for researchers, to say the least. When Joy was later interviewed about her unusual sense of smell, it was discovered she was a synesthet. People with synesthesia experience involuntary sensation in one sensory mode whenever it's stimulated by a different sensory mode. So for example, some people see smells, meaning they automatically have a color image or shape appear in their mind when they smell something. Synesthesia and its many sensory variations can differ from person to person. According to Joy, when she smells Parkinson's, an image of a brown shape with a viscous, creamy ooze comes to mind. The image depends on how strong the odor is. What's more, it's not an image she conjures up, but it automatically appears as if she's seeing it right in front of her. She goes on further that healthy individuals, for her, have a visual equivalent of a fully brown O. They are filled in and complete, but as the disease progresses, the O begins to expand and hollow out until a colored ooze expands from the top and goes inside the hollow shape. She sees a different image depending on the advancement of the Parkinson's. Joy's unusual power is truly rare, and thanks to her bringing attention to the smell of Parkinson's, Scientists are now looking to identify the exact compound causing that smell. They hope it will help in diagnosing the problem and revolutionize the treatment as well. Number 4. Lawrence Kim Peek, Unforgettable Considered one of the most famous savants, Kim Peek became the center of fame when his remarkable abilities became the inspiration for the character played by Dustin Hoffman in the film Rain Man. In the movie, Hoffman plays Raymond Rabbit, a character who was a savant, someone who seems to perform certain tasks with no effort at all. Usually, it is tasks considered impossible to do by normal individuals. The person who inspired the character was Kim Peek from Salt Lake City, Utah. 
From a young age, Peek showed remarkable memory despite experiencing social difficulties as a result of congenial brain abnormalities. Kim's unique abilities first manifested from when he was just one and a half years old. He could read both pages of an open book, one page with the left eye and the other with the right eye. He also had impressive recall and comprehension, having the capacity to retain 98% of everything that he read. As a young kid, he spent most of his days inside a library with his dad, so he ended up reading thousands of books, maps, and encyclopedias. It said he could flip and read through one thick book in an hour and have full recall of what he had just read. Not only did Peek have astounding reading and comprehension abilities, but he was also able to absorb different kinds of information and recall them at will. He became a living encyclopedia and a human GPS system as he was able to offer directions to any two cities in the world. Aside from that, he could also do calendar calculations with ease. It could tell you what day a specific date in history was. You just had to give him a date. Other things he recalled were baseball scores, historical, political, as well as musical facts. When you ask him the content of books he has read, he can easily recall it without any problem. Compared to others with Savant Syndrome, Peake didn't have Autistic Spectrum Disorder. He was introverted and had trouble with certain motor abilities, but he didn't have trouble communicating or understanding others. During a study on his brain, scientists pinpointed that his abilities stem from a lack of connection between his brain's two hemispheres. In 2004, when NASA performed an MRI scan on his brain, it was revealed he never had a corpus callosum, a hippocampal commissure, and the anterior commissure. These three were responsible for transferring information between the two halves of the brain. So by nature, Kim was among the few that were natural-born split-brain patients. Each half of his brain had developed a sophisticated language center, so it's capable of processing information. For normal people, when you read a page with the left eye, the words and information travel to the right hemisphere, then through the corpus callosum and into the left hemisphere to be processed. For Peak, because of the lack of this bridge, each hemisphere processed the information automatically, allowing him to speed read and retain information. This only applied to his information retention, though, and not his visual imagery or math skills. Despite his brilliant mind, Peak only had an IQ of 87, which was below normal, and he had trouble following certain directions. Aside from his unique brain composition, Kim was also born with another condition called macrocephaly, which resulted in him having a bigger brain than most. As a child, he wasn't able to walk until he was four years old, partly because he had trouble holding his heavy head up. Kim Peek has become a great example of a true savant. Until today, many still find his skills unique and utterly impressive. Peek passed away in December of 2009. Number three. Derek Paravicini, musical genius. He might have limited verbal skills, but when it comes to playing the piano, Derek Paravicini can make it sing. Born blind, he is an autistic savant and musical prodigy who resides in London. He was born prematurely, at only 25 weeks old, together with a twin sister who didn't survive. Because of his prematurity, he was placed in oxygen therapy at the neonatal intensive care unit. While it helped him, the oxygen overdose also caused his blindness and affected his developing brain. This resulted in various learning disabilities as he was growing up. But Derek has a unique gift. From when he was two years old, he already began playing piano thanks to a nanny that gave him an old keyboard. He then attended Linden Lodge School for the Blind. While there, during an introductory class, he broke free from his parents to follow the sound of a piano playing in the music room. Once there, he pushed the player aside and actually began playing himself. By the time he was seven years old, he gave his first concert at the Tooting Leisure Center. Derek has absolute pitch and can easily play any song on the piano after hearing it only once. He can reproduce even the most complicated pieces with ease. By nine years old, he had his first public concert 
at the Barbican Hall with the Royal Philharmonic Pops Orchestra. He has also shown up in various documentaries including Wogan, 60 Minutes, The Nova Series, Musical Minds with Oliver Sacks, and on the History Channel's Stan Lee's Superhumans. Aside from this, he also released several albums and has gone on to offer countless concerts. In 2013, he even appeared with Adam Oakleford at TEDx Warwick. As Oakleford spoke about Derek's abilities, he displayed his musical skills. Derek's unique abilities have been a source of wonder and admiration, not just for scientists and researchers, but also for the public that enjoy music. Number two, Wim Hof, Iceman. Known as the Iceman, Wim Hof defies the odds when he manages to run barefoot marathons around the Arctic Circle with only shorts on. His amazing feats of physical endurance are baffling and would no doubt kill others if they dare try. Not only has Hoff ran 26 miles in the extremely cold Arctic weather, he has also held the Guinness World Record for the longest swim under ice, ran a half marathon under the blistering heat of the Namib Desert without drinking any water for half the race, climbed Everest and the Himalayas wearing only shorts, and also subjected himself to extremely dry heat. His body, through all this, has somehow survived. When scientists first heard of Hoff's incredible abilities, they initially thought it was a joke until they became fascinated and curious about how Hoff manages to endure all these feats without damaging his system at all, let alone dying. Hoff began working with scientists to help study what he does to his body and brain that allows him to do such extraordinary feats. Hoff himself contends what he can do, others can as well. They simply need to learn the proper way of doing it. For him, he attributes his abilities to a type of conditioning he goes into which involves a series of breathing exercises, something he says anyone can replicate. He says he learned this technique through trial and error while he was out in nature. It begins by finding a comfortable place to lie down, like a sofa or bed, where he then proceeds to do deep breathing exercises for several minutes. Through this, he prompts certain parts of his body to tingle, a sign his body has low carbon dioxide. When he was placed in the MRI machine during this state and shots of hot and cold water were placed in a special suit he was wearing, it showed his brain released certain opioids and cannabinoids into his body, thus allowing him not to feel any pain or cold. The exercise also triggered the release of serotonin and dopamine, giving him a happy, euphoric feeling while undergoing the task. But even Hoff admits this stress-induced analgesia only lasts for a few minutes at best. However, because of his repeated exposure to such feats and the cold, his body has learned to anticipate it and has helped him to continue maintaining the state he is in. Scientists, however, are still unsure how he manages to escape the effects of frostbite or run half a desert with hardly any water. They do believe that with his abilities, it can help others suppress and resist tissue swelling and other immune response reactions. It might also be beneficial to those who are suffering from clinical syndromes. Number 1. Veronica Cedar, Supervision Veronica Cedar may be a dentist by day, but she has one extremely unique characteristic that even superheroes might be jealous of. She has supervision. In 1972, Veronica was a student at the University of Stuttgart in West Germany when the school decided to do a vision test on its students. It was here they discovered Veronica had a rare and unique type of eyesight. She could see 20 times better than the average person. This means she has telescopic eyes that allow her to see things clearly, even if they're relatively far away. For instance, she can see and identify individuals clearly, even when they're a mile away from her. An average human eye can see up to 100 microns at 25 centimeters. It's pretty remarkable, but the eye can see things much smaller, provided the right lighting and environmental conditions are present. For instance, there are some stars or super bright objects in the night sky that are only 3 to 4 microns that can be seen by the human eye. 
However, Veronica is reported to be capable of seeing 20 times better than that. Her eyesight, when compared to 2020 vision, is 22. She says she can even distinguish the individual dots that make up the red, green, and blue spectrum on tube television sets. Even more fascinating, her eyesight is so powerful, she can write a 10-page letter on the back of a postage stamp and still read it clearly. Even more, she demonstrated in front of her professors at the university that she could neatly write 20 verses of a poem on a piece of paper the size of her thumbnail without needing any magnifying glasses at all. Despite her extraordinary abilities though, Veronica decided to pursue what she always loved, dentistry. She became a dentist and is living in anonymity, pursuing her practice. So there were five people with extraordinary abilities. Humans are incredibly diverse, but these people prove that sometimes even seemingly ordinary people on the outside can have the most extraordinary superpowers. We have new videos coming out every Wednesday and Saturday that we know you'll want to check out. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.